Just as the way we greet each other varies greatly from culture to culture, so too the way that we perceive vision. We're all seeing the same thing, but because of the way and the environment in which you grew up, these social influences, we may not really be seeing the same thing. Let's look at an example of this. In 1957, Hudson found that between African tribal members and the general population, there seemed to be a real difference between the way that they perceived two and three-dimensional images. He suggested that this was because interpreting any picture requires an acceptance or an understanding of, of certain conventions. For example, pictorial cues like the ones we saw in the previous video. This picture here is similar to the one that was used in Hudson's study. Now, most of us would say that this is a person hunting the zebra. However, researchers were pretty surprised to find that some African tribes perceived this image really differently. In fact, they were surprised at what they thought was a picture of a hunter attempting to spear a really small rhino. One participant was even confused as to why the person in this picture only had one eye. You see, I, as an Australian, without realizing that I'm doing it, just automatically use pictorial visual cues to just judge that that rhino must be in the background of the picture. My brain's using things like relative size, height in the visual field, to sort of figure out what's in front and what's behind. Derigowski suggests that African tribe members just may not have learned to interpret pictures the way that we do. Hudson will later find that those with a high education level were even more likely to interpret the picture three-dimensionally rather than two-dimensionally. Now we're gonna look more at cross-cultural issues in unit four of senior psychology, but suffice to say research in this area is so important. And when it comes to our visual system, it's pretty clear that our cultural and societal norms and expectations really influence what we think we see. All right, that brings us to the end of this brief lesson. In the next one, we're gonna see how our visual system can be tricked.